Hey everyone, welcome to my video today. The prep that I did from this past week, I am showing you how I use the groceries that I bought at my from my most recent discount grocery food haul to make a lot of these meals. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. But let's get into these meals. So the first one is chicken rice recipe. You will notice that I use my Instant Pot a lot. This is a recipe, I'll have a link to it down below. I didn't go super into detail with filming, but it's from Natasha's Kitchen. She makes really good recipes, especially with Ukrainian and Russian food. As you can see, my son here is helping me out. He loves doing all the buttons. So the first step is that I just use a saute function. You guys, you will see I love my Instant Pot, especially for meal prep. It just makes it so easy. If you don't have one yet, definitely recommend it. But you add some butter and some olive oil and then you will just add your onions and as well as your grated carrots. Now I will say this recipe I think is like the most work even though it's not that much but compared to the other recipes but it's like I think my favorite from this week. I definitely recommend making it. It's so good. And then I just added this chicken, which again, I bought at the discount food store. So my meat for the week was not very expensive. I just, I think this was um, chicken thigh, boneless and skinless, and I just cut it up and put it in there. And then once I just put all the broth and the spices, I added in my rice. I just use uh, basmati rice from a big bag that I buy at Costco, and I mixed everything up just to get it integrated before I turned on my Instant Pot. Um, yeah, so it was pretty easy. I think that the hardest part was just the prep work of grating the carrots and stuff like that. But after that, like, it's super easy. And again, I got a lot of like people who tried this this week. My husband and like my mom and other people who stopped by, um, they loved this rice. They were like, did you make this? So it is super good. The flavors are really good and it doesn't take very long to do. So the recipe was just for 10 minutes and a quick release. And I'm telling you, it was super delicious. Now, while the rice was cooking, the one little really great addition is to use fresh parsley. This is just parsley I had on my little pot windowsill thing that I have in my house. So I had some fresh parsley. I actually ended up adding more than what you see here in this clip. And then also Parmesan cheese. So while this was cooking, I chopped all that up. And then as you can see, you guys, the end result, it's so good. I, it's like nice and fluffy, but yet it's the veggies, oh, so good. And then I just added in that Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley and that was like the cherry on top. It was just the perfect amount, not too much, but it was the flavor was there. And then also while um, that rice was finishing, I'm just kind of melting the cheese and everything. I took this bag uh, that I also got the discount food store it was 99 cents and I put that into these containers which if you're wondering where I got them from um, I found them at Aldi I think uh, a few weeks ago and these are the ones I've been using they were 10 containers with lids for about four or five dollars it wasn't very expensive they're freezer safe and microwave safe and um, dishwasher safe too which is nice so I just filled up rice up with that and finished those. This next one's not in a meal, but it's an ingredient I like to have every week, is I like to make at least a dozen hard-boiled eggs. Again, you'll see in my Instant Pot. These are eggs that I also got at the discount food store. Pretty much everything is, you guys will see the trend here. And um, I usually make at least a dozen, but sometimes two of hard-boiled eggs because we use these to make you know, egg salad sandwiches, to put them on salads, to just add extra protein to my prepped meals. I'll just put maybe one in the little black, you know, container, make sure that it's sealed and not venting, obviously. And I think I do about seven or eight minutes and then I just kind of let it, I mean, I don't have an exact science to be honest. I just kind of let it go for a while and then I peel them and store them and that's it. And then the next thing also is really easy is just boiled potatoes and then I made two different kinds of chicken. So again, just peeled my potatoes. You could make this into mashed potatoes if you wanted, whatever you want. So that's the flexibility that's really nice with this. And then I use this chicken, again using my Instant Pot. This time I actually use it as just almost like a frying pan essentially and I just sauteed, kind of like fried my chicken. And I just use Italian seasonings and salt and pepper and then I you can kind of see it kind of gets golden or like charred at the bottom and I just added some white wine. It was really good flavor and it kind of cooked those little golden brown bits. And that's how I, what I did with that chicken. 
while that chicken was finishing up my potatoes were done so then I just transfer the boiled potatoes into my first set of containers for this meal and again really easy because while one thing finishes up you work on the next one so that's what I did there you can kind of see them still so warm and toasty but again it's nice because you can adjust what you want in there this time I added these dried chives that I have um, and just you know you can put some salt some pepper it's nice because if you have multiple people in your household they can customize you know what they want maybe someone wants sour cream or if you know they're dairy free then maybe not and then again I just took some veggies that I also got um, from my recent discount food grocery haul and I just added those in there just some little cherry tomatoes and a crab cucumber you can add more again if you want but that's what I did for my veggie and I find that with meal prepping this I've been doing this for a few weeks now I have found that I am eating healthier and better and so are you know other people in my household so it's just been really nice it's easier but it's also healthier for my family as well and then here's that chicken that was cooking in the instant pot kind of frying essentially on the saute function it just was nice and like brown and golden and it got kind of like crispy but it was really still juicy on the inside it was really good and so this is just one of the little sections of chicken I kind of cut it up and then I just put it in with the potatoes so then you have a protein you have your potato you know you have veggies super easy lunch or dinner and the nice thing with these two is that my husband will just take this whole little box put it in his lunch box throw in maybe a couple snacks and his lunch is ready to go so it's really easy again then the next set of like a next batch I guess of chicken that I made was kind of like a taco chicken to put with the rest of the potatoes uh, I just used chili and cumin honestly I just kind of eyeballed it I kind of winged the recipe um, but I just added some onion again as you will see in my instant pot I just wash it out and you know use it for the next recipe so again just put everything in throw in some spices and it is done basically I just set it um, in the oven and this will be going with the rest of the boiled potatoes so the nice thing again with meal prepping is you can take an ingredient like potatoes and divide it with you know making meat two different kinds of meats and it makes two different meals now I did 20 minutes for the chicken I liked it better that way because it made it this like really delicious juicy broth oh it was so good you guys and I think this was my favorite chicken because then I took some of that broth and then I poured it over the potatoes so it was so good when you like reheated it and it kind of just made them like juicy <laughs> it was really good then the last recipe is a soup it's a Ukrainian borscht recipe again from Natasha's kitchen I'll link her video it's more detailed if you want to see it basically you just boil your veggies beets carrots potatoes and you put your onions and peppers Put it all together then add in beans some vinegar some bay leaves salt pepper kind of not anything super complicated and then you get this delicious soup it is so good we really loved it too so i hope you guys enjoy these recipes and got some motivation again if you enjoy these thumbs up and i will see you in the next video bye everyone